Hey guys, Matt, we're here in my home garage today showing you a new set of dies for the Eastwood Motorized Bead Roller. Now this bead roller is my go-to bead roller that I use on almost every one of my antique car projects. And now with the expanded line of bead roller dies, you can do a lot more with the same bead roller. So today what we're showing you is the tipping die set that you can use for your bead roller. It consists of an upper die that is a very sharp edge and then a flat lower hardened die that you can use to actually pinch the panel and tip an edge up whether it's straight or it's curved. So I'm going to show you the process and show you how nice it is here in the end. All right, so to do, use this die set, it's pretty easy. I've drawn a just a Sharpie line on here that we're using on a scrap piece of metal to show you the process. So what I like to do is just barely let the dies touch, just enough that there's they're not cranked down super tight, but basically just touching, and you just have a pinch point here where we can now run through. Once I get it started, what you're going to do is use your, your outer hand to push up on the panel just a little bit as we roll it. And we'll just roll along our line here. This is a scrap, so I'm not too worried about being ultra accurate. But just keeping the, the same pressure as we go. Panel. And that will start our tip. Now we have a tip started here on the panel and we can go through with basically the same pressure and we're gonna push up just a little harder this time. All right, so now we're gonna show you how to, you can tip an edge on a curve or a radius. And it's basically the same process, but you're gonna see the panel's gonna move around a little bit as we create this bend. But you can do uh, any type of shape or pattern you want. Within reason, you can actually tip the edge. So I'm gonna show you a common one. Now you may notice the panel has some little puckers or little waves in the panel here. Anytime you're bending uh, on a curve like this, you're gonna see this happen. So with this, you would need to take it to the shrinker stretcher and correct these areas, and then we can go back to the, uh, to the bead roller here and make the, finish the rest of the edge. Now we go back to the shrinker again and we correct these issues and get everything so it's nice and flat. And then we can do our final round of bending. All right, so that was the a quick down and dirty way that you could tip a, an edge on a radius using the tipping dies in the motorized bead roller. Now, I just quickly went over everything with the shrinker stretcher just to get the panel back in shape. You may want to spend a little bit more time if you want it to be perfectly flat. You're obviously going to spend a little more time working that edge and then tipping everything over. But what we want to show you is that you get a really nice, crisp, clean break on a panel, even on something that has a radius. So if you have a break, you can't get, you know, obviously a bend on a, on a radius like this. So by using your bead roller that you already have and it's tipping die set, you can make a bend on a straight edge or also on a curve just like this. If you want to see all the dies that we offer, you can visit eastwood.com or you can click the link down below to see this, this die set and the motorized bead roller on its own. Thanks guys. Catch you later.